Hey everyone, RG here and welcome to a revolutionary Sims 4 staircase tutorial. In this video I'm gonna show you how to create a T-shaped grand staircase middle section open without railing divider, yes, and more advanced version of it, a grand four sides staircase. This method is base game friendly, so I hope you're gonna enjoy it and let's get started. Okay, so to start off, what we want to do is first of all to add the only cheat code that we're gonna use, which is BB point move objects. Yeah, that's how simple it is. We're not gonna use anything other than this cheat code, okay? So, uh, to start really with the process itself, first of all, up until this moment, this is what we used to do. We used to raise a foundation, stretch a stairs into it, and from that foundation into the next level, right? No more, we're not gonna use that thing, it's not gonna be that simple. The first one, which is the T section. So we're gonna start off, and this one I'm gonna do as a base game. The same method can work, of course, with anything, okay? But I want to show that this thing can be with base game only. So uh, let's go and grab ourselves a staircase. So we're gonna use this one, and I'm gonna do it outside. I'm gonna grab it, and then we want to stretch it. Now we can go with two, and we can go with three with uh, a staircase. I'm gonna go with two. Just a, a small tip for you, the bigger you're gonna go, like three or four, I don't think that bigger than, yeah, four as you can see, you cannot turn them. So you can go with two or three. Three will look a bit more grand and, 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 and beautiful and magnificent, but uh, it's gonna take you a bit more space, so this is where you need to choose what you want to go with. I'll go with two. So from this point, you want to turn it one time, and now we want to turn the whole thing, okay, one time to the right, because we want this shape, we want the, um, the R shape. So once you've done this, you can take it by moving it inside our build here, into the first floor. Now, you can place it in the middle, and you can place it closer to the wall. I'll go closer to the wall, because then you can place some nice uh, things like, uh, I don't know, like a big picture on the wall, it, it looks better, okay? Now, you can take this area down and you can leave it. Do whatever you want with it. I'm gonna take it down just because I want to show you a glitchy area that you're gonna need to work with and fix it and how to fix it. So from this point, you can copy that thing and kinda fix it back to at the starting point and then turn it to the other side, bring it over, into our build here, turn it with the uh, arrows to the other side, and that's that's basically the basic. But now the tricky part's gonna come. When we're gonna apply the railing to it, and we want to go with, let's go with wooding, wood one, but with the right color, like this, you're gonna have the middle section area here, and this is how we're gonna deal with it. What we want to do is to grab ourselves the wall tool and create a wall on it, directly on it. We don't want to go and create half walls because as you can see they will just go underneath it and it's not gonna cover it, okay? We wanna go and create a wall, normal size wall to it. And after we've done that, this is the moment when we applying the trick. You go to doors and you go to the bigger, the bigger, the biggest door that you can get and you're gonna take the pointless renovation this is base game you can use others but i don't really see a point just take it grab it into the build and now descale it descale it as you can see it's gonna be underneath there you go you can see that over there underneath the uh, underneath the staircase use the alt key to use it freely and move it freely and to try and you can see this area over here we want to hide it in the best way we can. So we we use we 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 we're gonna use the Alt key to move it freely up until this. It's almost like a paper. Okay. Now don't worry about this area that look uh, look weird and glitchy. We're just gonna cover it. But this area is the more tricky part to handle because we want this not to be here, right? So there are a few ways to do so, but first of all, let me apply some colors to our build here because I want it to look like a build and not like a mistake. So let's apply this thing and now let's take and create the upper area. Now for those who are curious how you create like small belly here that you can take off 
and, and without any problems, you go and take yourself a fence and you start from this area. You want to cover this area. You cannot see it. You just can see a green indicator. Okay, so you stretch it over here. Stretch it more. One, two, three. Let's go. And one. And then all the way to the other side. And one. One, two, three. And cover the whole thing. Now from this point, just take this area down with the hammer tool. And as you can see, we have a belly grand staircase vibe. Let's deal with those areas. As you can see, those are not the only problems that we got. We got here, this area. So we just need to find stuff to hide it right so the most easy way to do it is basically by taking those poles here and just place them on it looks a bit weird you can change the color to fit a bit more the grand staircase but that this is the most easiest way to fix that area but as you know me i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna show you how to do it in a weird way the other thing that we can do is actually to cover it with something called and you want to go to the search bar and type Rome or Rome. And we have here a Roman ped pedestal. I always mess that word up. I don't know why, but Roman pedestal. So we're going to take it. We're going to use the nine key to bring it up over the grand circus here. And we're going to place it over here like so. You can change the color of it uh, to something else. Uh, and from this point you want to take some statue. So we're gonna tap, tap. We're gonna tap here, statue, statue. There we go, and we go with base game. And my suggestion to you is to go with the lady here. You're gonna place it over, and as you can see, she's not really covering the whole thing, so just grab her and upscale her one time. And as you can see, let's change the color to, um, yeah, let's go with beige. And as you can see, she's not covering the whole area, so you just need to play with her around a bit to try to cover the whole area. And if she's still not covering the whole area, you just need to move our um, Roman pedestal, right? That's the name of it. So one glitchy area done. Let's fix this area. And I will recommend for you to go with uh, tables, some sort of table. Those are the, uh, how do you call them? The Essen table, which are a bit more higher than normal ones, those those here, and of course we are using base game. If you are not using base game, you will have much more uh, options to go with. But I will suggest to you to go with the crafty craftsman. Craftsman, it, it will look a bit better because it's gonna cover more glitchy areas. And to cover this here, you're just gonna go and grab yourself some sort of a painting. Now go with the most biggest one or just take a small one and upscale it just like that. Now we can see that he's trying to trying to uh, uh, connect to the wall here. There's a visible invisible wall here, right? So you just need to play with it, okay? Until it will stop connect or try to connect and then just fix those areas just like so. And look at that. Look at that beautiful area and beautiful uh, um, grand staircase T shape. This is how simple it is. This is the moment when you can really go bananas with your ideas. Go and grab a chandelier and place it from the top. You know what? Let's try to do that. Um, and don't worry, in a sec, we're gonna go for the grand staircase four sides, which is even more amazing. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Yeah, just grab this one, make it a bit bigger, like that. Place it, take another one, turn it. Look at this. Okay, we don't have tiles on the ground, but look at that. Is this awesome or what? So that's it. This is how you create the T section grand staircase without the divider inside. And now let's go to the more advanced, more awesome, the grand staircase for sides. So just like before, we're going to start off with a really big area because you really need to have a enormous size. Um, space to do that grand uh, staircase now in this one you can use base game only and i'm not gonna do that because there's no good reason why not to go big when you can so we're gonna go with uh, a lot with the get famous pack because 
get famous pack has the most i think beautiful um items to work with so just like before we're gonna grab ourselves the staircase that we're gonna work with which is this one and here i'm gonna take this area down because there is something very very awesome that you can apply to the under area we're gonna turn it and do the same thing just like we've done with the t section uh staircase and we're gonna copy it to that area come on there we go now we're gonna need to do the same thing just to the other side like so perfect and copy it to here oh what was that i don't know but let's copy it over here thank you very much now let's create the upper area with a uh, grand railing grand railing is something i know it's it's there there we go this one look at that that's beautiful we have gold gold always look great so what we're gonna do is actually this we're gonna go with one two three four and one two let's let's do it over here I think that's two gold for me but we can work with it one two one all the way stretch it one more time over here perfect i think it's too much gold for me so let's go with this yeah that's better great there we go there we go there we go perfect now we can take off those area Beautiful, and apply the railing, which are gonna give us the hard time working. Uh, I think this is the railing, yeah, there we go, there we go. Perfect, and you can see that we have a plus section here that divide the whole thing, it looks horrible, and we're gonna deal with it the way I just showed you. But first of all, let me add some nice colors. Now, let's do our technique here, our method. Create a plus shape walls here because this is a plus way plus shaped uh, problem and go to doors go and take the biggest one the pointless renovation and descale it down perfect as you can see it's on the bottom area over there use the alt key to try and hide most of the area over here and do the same thing over here and go over here do the same Perfect. Now we need to deal with the middle section and the sides. So in this area, what we want to do is this. So we're gonna go with columns and grab ourselves the columns that will fit the best here. And this one, I think it's too much. So maybe this one, yeah, this one. Grab this one and go to the upper area, active the grid and place it on top of it. Perfect. And then we want to work on those small section here. Now I think for the most grand design or grand look we will go with so we're gonna go with this rome pedestal bring it up until it is above the ground on our level and we're gonna go again i think we need to change the color of it so we're gonna do it in a sec and we're gonna go again there we go now here we're not gonna use the lady we're gonna use something else a bit more awesome i think a bit more grand <laughs> I love that word, I don't know why. Now I do love to put them on top, like here. I don't know why. I think it's adding more uh, uniqueness to the build, more um, luxurious vibe. So I'm gonna add them over here. Yeah, active the grid. So this thing, this thing, and, and still as you can see we are not done yet with, with, those, uh, uh, with those glitchy areas. We need to hide them. Now, I would suggest to you to type here night. And this is actually from base game. So we can use it. It's awesome. You can go with gold. It will look awesome, as you can see. And we're going to just bring it up. Up until the moment he is kind of standing on the, on the Roman pedestal. And just scale it down one time because I think it's too big. So just like this. Beautiful. And again to the other side. Bring it up. Perfect. And look at this. Is there something more grand and amazing than that? Look at this. This is the most amazing grand stairs that you can get. Now, the area underneath here, as you can see, this is a very glitchy area. To hide this area, it's kind of simple. You just go, because we are not working with base game, it's a bit more simple than base game. 
uh, you go again to the same tables and you go with the this is the pack of the uh, food like how, how it called diner dining out so you take the marvel of the marvelous marbled okay I just broke my teeth saying that and you scale it one time up and just place it like so look at that now you take the same thing turn it scale it up one time and placing it over here like so where you have this area over here okay Th that's how it should look like then you don't need to play with alt key okay scale it up one time place it like so and again take it oh come on take another one turn it scale it one time place it there we go and look at this now you can of course just add a lot of lighting this is this is the moment when you can go crazy add chandeliers from the top do whatever you want but look at this look at that magnificent grand staircase four sides this is what you should put in your mansions in your awesome amazing mansions and kate my dear friend i expect you to bring to bring something like this in your next build okay that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something new and if you did don't forget to hit the like button show that you love what i share with you uh if you're new here consider subscribing to the channel for more sims 4 tutorials awesome builds anything that is relating to building in the game thank you so much for watching keep that sims party going for me rdr gaming signing off